in here. Okay, so we're back at the car. We came uh, to move the engine. So we got the engine right here. We moved it out from when we had it uh, last time. Uh, it's a little windy, guys, so sorry about the wind noise. But right now where we're at, Larry is removing the spot welds on the mounts. So we're going to remove all mounts to kind of give us a, like a blank canvas. And uh, we can bring the car back down and then mock it up and, and kind of see where we're where we're looking at or how we're looking at. I mean. guys so this is where we are at right now so he went ahead and took the spot wells out but we kind of gave up because it had spot wells inside of the actual mount so we couldn't take it apart so we pulled out the, the grinder and uh, we started with the with the cutoff wheel we cut all the, the spot wells cut the piece out almost cut my leg off that thing came spinning on my leg um, and right now I just use the flap wheel to kind of you know clean it up a little bit. Larry's got the spray paint or the primer ready. So he's gonna prime it. What's going on guys? So we're back at Larry's car. We got the engine out. We're gonna continue uh, with the process of trying to fit the engine in the base. Let me put the phone in here because it's kind of still with the wind right here. It's always windy here. So Larry and I were, was, were discussing um, where are we gonna place the mounts on the engine. So we're thinking we're gonna reuse the 95 mounts. What we're gonna do is maybe cut this piece right here and um because in this specific area right here is probably where the where this mount i don't even know the name of this mount but it's like a lower front lower front mount i don't know if you guys can see it there let me switch the camera so this mount right here comes out of the engine on the bottom um we have the mount somewhere over there. Let me see if I can find in the pile, in the stockpile that we have. So 
kind of looks like this one right here but this one's from the other side actually we'll take this one too this is the one from the i think front we'll take this one and uh, i'm not sure where the other one is at but let's take these ones for now so oh uh, let's see larry grab this grab this mount i'm gonna use that one as a reference even if even though it's the one on the other side so this one would go kind of like this right right up here on the engine actually the other way this way so this mount goes like that so if we take it in the car it should go something like this all right so i don't know if up here down here we don't know yet because we're going to mount this mount to the engine and then mark the engine up with the mount but we can't mark the engine up here because we have this piece of metal right here that's actually part of the frame and so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it where it's welded and then we're gonna hammer it in but before we hammer it in we're gonna bring the engine and we're gonna uh, uh, what do you call it mock it again so what that mount is gonna do is kind of the same as this mount right here which is uh, uh, you guys can picture Larry come on this side so you can see um, so what we're trying to achieve is basically just think about this piece being the engine and it has that mount situation right there so we're gonna put this one in here and kind of uh, what do you call it screw it underneath so you can see that's what we're trying to do but this one's from this side so this one should go like this like under here on this side so we haven't gotten to this side yet on the transmission side but that's just so you guys can have an idea of what we're trying to work on right now That's why I gave you the extension because it's easier okay. to reach in there with an extension. You can try this at home. You can be just like me. You're stripping yeah, it? Or? I think I'm just stripping it. Yeah, well. Okay, so it's been about an hour. This is where we at. Larry went underneath and took out the shift linkage. I don't know where's the hole at. Oh, I can't find the hole. I think it's somewhere up here. Let me, let me get underneath so we can see it right. All right, so. So we had to take the stupid heat shield that was blocking the shift leakage right there to give us, so we, we had to remove it because it was hitting the engine in the front so we couldn't really, um, you know, position it the way that we wanted to. But, um, Larry took it out, right. you guys can see it right here. So it was only, I think it was only a couple of bolts holding it up. So right now, our next step is we're gonna cut that piece that we told you earlier. And um, let me see, trying to get some light in here. We're gonna cut this piece, and then we're gonna lower the car down. See if we can put the suspension back. We have the right, sorry, the left and the right suspension ready. We're just gonna bolt it up like that, all dirty, because all we need to do is mock the engine out. This engine is gonna be coming out anyway because uh, we're gonna get a rebuild so when the engine comes out we're gonna rebuild uh, the axles and everything but right now because we're pressed with time we're just gonna use the the axles and uh, the suspension that the car has there as you guys can see it's like all rusty let me get a 
can't really see here with the with the sun, but you guys can see it's like super rusty. I mean, the boots are okay. They're still flexing. They're, they look a little bit. One of them looked like it was cracked, but they, they still flex, so I might be able to use them like that temporarily. But it's a lot of wind, so let's get to the work. So we're gonna cut it from where the spot was there at. So I just cut above the, the, what do you call them, above the spot wells, above the spot wells, but up here we might have to notch it and then drill holes so we can bolt up the, the mounts, but for right now that's, that's where we're at, I'm gonna, you know, use the, um, what do you call it, the flat wheel to kind of, you know, remove the, sharp edges so we don't get hurt while we're working on this all right so we kind of mounted this right there temporarily Larry's putting together the we're gonna cut the music because it's too windy out here guys so Larry finished uh, putting the engine underneath we finished mounting the front suspension it's still loose we haven't tied it into the control arm it's just hanging there we're gonna try to put the axles inside the engine um, just so we can get a sense of where the engine is gonna sit so as you can see same here so let's see if we can 
stick those axles in there. But first, we need to lower the car down. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so we hit a snag. We got the engine in the car. It's looking actually better than it was before. Before Larry blocked me with his butt. Um, so we put the, the engine in the cart, one of those little dollies. We stuck the the axles. Oh, some water. See the axles right there? They per they went in perfectly. Thank you guys. Um, in the Facebook group, in the Honda 80s, 80 to 82 Facebook group, they helped me out with all the questions that I have. I appreciate you guys a lot. Let me know if you guys need help with your builds. I'm here to help if I can. But uh, thanks to you guys that said that the axles would fit. The 80 and 82 and 83 axles would fit the D16. And they fit perfect. Perfectly. So right now, what we're trying to do, we got both axles in the car. Or in the engine, I mean. But see that one right there is just pushing a little bit that way because I need to move. So if I move this, it'll clear. But before we can get the everything kind of situated, we're having a uh, problem with this mount right here. So this mount right here is not letting us go higher with the engine and this pulley. But the pulley is okay because I'm going to get it replaced anyway. And we have enough clearance up here that the pulley can sit there without bothering, you know, our fitment but Larry's taking away the mount as you guys can see right there he's taking away that entire mount we're just leaving this one right here but yeah that's where we're at guys the engine's getting closer to its resting place all right so one more bolt to go Larry's taking oh there you go so we took that entire mount off Larry you're gonna put the bolts back exactly where they go so we don't we know exactly which ones go where and so now what we have is this mount and this mount which uh, I don't think it will affect us but um, I think after Larry's finished put, putting those bolts in there we're gonna let the car go down a little bit more so wish us luck guys engines almost there okay so Check this out, we're super happy right now because we put the wheels on, lower control arm on, the uh, shocks on. So we, the, the car is basically standing on its own on the wheels, but if you can, as you can see, it's kind of high in the front, low in the back. That's because of the weight of the engine. If you guys look at the distance right here between the wheel and the wheel well it's about four about five fingers if we go on this side we need to come down you know more it's like almost three inches off so what we're planning to do with Larry is get uh, maybe three or four of his fat friends get him inside the car so the car pushes down and then once the car is down that's not no 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 we changed that one right Larry so no that's true we changed that one we, we're not gonna go with that uh, situation so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the engine and we're gonna hoist it up uh, when we hoist the engine up uh, it's it'll what do you call it um kind of find the position where it's gonna go and then we're gonna start marking up the mounts but as you can see we cleared this mount right here and the, we didn't clear the pulley because we need a single pulley for the alternator the al alternator it's kind of close I mean it's let me go see right here so how about a finger from the alternator but this is not the final the final location so it might get closer here it might get close but right now the axles are perfect the axles are fully seated they're perfect uh, let me see this one perfect might be a little off. Let's see. Let me get the video in there. But this one might be a little, a little off. But anyway, we haven't found the exact location for the engine, so we're gonna hoist it up, 
level it put some levels on the bottom on the oil pan and maybe uh, take some measurements on the top you know from let's say from like this bolt to like the firewall and then this bolt to the firewall um, yeah so I don't know we're learning as we go um, but yeah let's see if that works out what's going on guys so uh, Larry and I where do we get to Larry can you explain it no no, no. all right well where we got to right now is um we got the engine almost mocked up completely and we got the front suspension put in well it's not with the new parts though it's just for right now and and uh, we also took off some other mounts of the car so we could try to fit it I mean off the engine so we could fit it in and then tomorrow we are going to come to take the, the wheel off because of the crank pulley so uh, basically the crank pulley we don't have that tool Larry was pretty smart I didn't even know this and you know you always learn something new you know every day so Larry was uh, we were trying to take this bolt out to take this pulley out um, to kind of mock the engine better because this pulley is the only thing that's in the way basically right now so Larry said hey dad what about you know this uh, a shape right here it looks like something should go there to kind of you know do leverage and I was like oh shit let me look it up and indeed there's a part that you put up here with the with the what do you call it breaker bar and you can hit that that uh, bolt right there but we don't have that that part that tool so we're gonna have to call some friends maybe tomorrow see if they have that tool if not we're gonna have to probably buy it so it's gonna take maybe about five or six days to get here um, maybe you guys know somebody in the area you guys know anybody that has that that part or that tool that can let, let maybe let us borrow it or rent it out for us uh, so we can remove this pulley we, we appreciate it um, so yeah um, but that's where we are right now so engine it's looking good it's getting closer to where it's supposed to be remember back in uh, a couple of days ago it was all the way down here but yeah engine needs to go up maybe a couple more inches three or four more inches these mounts need to be fabbed up right here on this side the pulley that I was talking about you can see right there it's conflicting right there uh, but one, I know once we take it off all we'll have is the alternator pulley here on this side so let me see if I can so that's the only pulley that we need the one for the alternator right there I don't know if you can see because of the sun but yeah that's where we are guys so we're gonna come back tomorrow hopefully with that part that tool if we don't get it then we're just gonna have to wait a couple, like maybe five days before we can come back to remove it but anyway that's where we are guys Larry ready to go we come back tomorrow ho hopefully with that uh, tool and uh, that's it guys putting the tools away see you guys back tomorrow thanks for watching Bruh.